Hey guys, I am here with a collective haul um, from Value Village, GNC, Icing, which is Claire's, um, excuse me, um, Urban Planet, and the Dollar Store. So, why don't I start with... I'm going to start with the dollar store. I got... It's not even open. One sec, I'll open it. Just so I could swatch it for you. I got just um, a couple lipsticks. Well, one lipstick and then the others are um, glossy lip balm. Sorry, I should have been prepared. Um, so this is by Billy Cosmetics, and I think that's the, just the dollar store brand. But I wanted to try, I find the do dollar store is a really good place if you want to try like makeups, but you want to try a different color before actually spending money on the more expensive brands or a brand that you like. Because if you don't like it and you spend like, five or ten dollars on a lipstick that's a lot of money for something that you might not like swatch might look good in the store but you get home and actually put it on doesn't always look good so this is by Billy you can see it's a glare because it's a clear case but that's the color it just says fuchsia actually pretty really pretty it's very like a whiny berry color it's not as dark as the actual lipstick but that is that one and that is the Billy fuchsia <laughs> from the dollar store so it's not really a dollar store cause it's a dollar 25 now so it's a dollar 25 and then I got these these are the NYC and I got two limited edition. They're these ones. I like them. I don't always like wearing a lipstick, like a full color. So these come off like a shine gloss, but they have a hint of color. And let my unprepared butt get these open for you. And this will be a bit, it's a bit of a longer video. Alright, so this one is in number two and it's cherry on the cake. Ugh. And that's what it looks like when you open it. So these are very sheer, they're really pretty though. So, it's that one right there, cherry on the cake and just remember that these are a glossy lip balm so there's not a lot of color payoff and that one was a limited edition and I believe I grabbed the last ones at the dollar store here in downtown Victoria definitely need to be more prepared This one is just the uh, a normal one they have. I'm assuming you can get these at Walmart, London Drugs, any kind of pharmacy, drugstore. So this is in $3.59 and it is apple plum pie. And that's what that one looks like. That one's a little darker. It's that one right there. And they smell really yummy. And this one here is another limited edition. Yeah. I don't know 
why they made things so hard to get into. Like, I get they want to seal them for germs and stuff like that so people don't use them, but like, have a little pull tab on them so I can just pull it open. Like, the gum packages, they have a little plastic piece sticking out so you can just pull them. Oh my god, we'll just rip that one open. And this is a number one, it is Delicious Macaroon, and this one was a limited edition. It smells yummy! Oh, I don't even know if you'll be able to see this one. Oh, well, maybe. It's right there. It's really sheer. It's a peach color. And the last one. I'll have a snack because it's taking me a little while. It's going to come off piece by piece. There we go. Good enough. This one is in 351 Caramel Apple. It smells so yummy. And that is a darker one. And I'll just do that one underneath. I don't know if you can see that. It's it's there. It's the nude. That'd be really pretty just over top of a a nude lipstick. If you just want a bit of shimmer, but nothing crazy. So that was from the dollar store. I guess I can stick with in the mall. Alright, so, so oh I got these earrings at Icing. It's really pretty feathers and I like to wear my hair down into one side. I'll just put one in. Um, I believe in my profile picture up in the corner there. I have a purple one in. These ones are a little bit smaller so I could probably get away with both of them without them overpowering. And then we went to Claire's at... This is with my mom. Claire's at Hillside Mall, and we split the uh, 10 for 10, so we spent $10. Well, no, we spent $11.20. I got this. I don't know if it'll work. I haven't tried it yet. It's the Heart Bun Maker by Conair. So, it should be interesting. A little bun that's a heart. It's pretty cute. And these were all 10 for 10, so they're all a dollar. And the original price for this, I know they sell them. It is Canadian. This was $9.75. It was marked down to $4.79 on sale. But I got it 10 for 10, so it was a dollar. Um, in the States, it is $8.50 regular price. Let's see that on there. And my earrings, oh, the earrings from Icing were $16.50, and then they were half off, and then they were an additional 50% off, so they were $4.10, and in the States, they are $14.50 regular price. So, back to my 10 for 10. I got six pack of the hair bands. I like these. They're like giant um, elastics. But they just sit nice on your hair and you don't have to wear it. It's like not thick. You can wear one, two, three, growl them if you want. And they're pink, my favorite color. And then the states, these are $5.50. In Canada, they're $6.25. They were marked down to $3.09, but again, they were a dollar for the 10 to 10. 10 for 10. And I got this a double hairband or head wrap. Pretty. 
and this in the states is 550 in Canada at 625 and then it was marked down to 309 it was 10 for 10, so a dollar. And I got the same one in the pink. Pink's my favorite color. So same price. And I got this out of the kids club. But it's on one of those elastics. My head's not very big. So these are perfect. And I like them because I find the grown-up ones, they put flowers all the way around them. So this is Claire's Club. <laughs> it's for the kids. Or babies, I guess. I'm assuming kids. For the States, it was $8. Canada was $9. It was marked down to $4.49, but it was in the 10 for 10 bin. So it's just little flowers, and I would wear it like go away tag. I would just wear it on the one side where the hair isn't, or where I'm not wearing it. Um, me and my mom both got the matching hair bands. Not intentionally. I had picked out my items and then she picked out hers. She only got three and I got seven. And then I got these 3D nail art stickers. Just little bows. And in the States they're $3.50, in Canada they're $4. They were on sale for $1.99, but they were again in the 10 for 10 bin. Oh, and the hairband. Is six fifty and seven twenty six fifty in uh, the states and seven twenty five in Canada. It was on for three fifty nine again. Ten for ten bin. So that is all my flares and my mom's stuff. And then and she wanted some sunglasses, so we stuck in. Uh, we saw a rack of sunglasses at uh, Payless Shoes and the rack was buy one get one 50% off so she got two items and I got two items so I got these earrings just some nice gold hoops with little diamonds in there um, she got the same ones but like just little tiny baby ones and those were $12.99 regular price, and so you paid for whatever one was more expensive, obviously. And then I picked out for my second item, this was $19.99 regular price, but it was on sale, so I believe I ended up paying for the earrings and getting the necklace half price, because this was on sale, and then on sale again. But that was just gold with sparkly black. I thought that would be really pretty just as the only piece of jewelry you wear and it's got a long chain but it's got the hoops so you can make it short or long. And then what else? Just, well my mom got sunglasses and the smaller earrings. And then before we left the mall we stopped at GNC. I have a GNC gold card so I picked up some vitamins. They're the GNC Total Lean Vita Pack. Uh, it's CLA to promote lean body mass, advanced multivitamin support for maintenance of good health. It's just a four pack of pills. Um, there are 60 packs. So you take it twice a day, you take it with a meal. Um, I just can health wise I've just been kind of downhill since I cut my finger for the past six months and I want to start going to the gym I've started eating better but I just need to make sure that my muscle doesn't deteriorate so I got that and they were on for at GNC they were on for buy one get one 50% off so I got two boxes got two months worth so I figured that is enough time to decide if I think that's worth buying again. Um, so it was $64.99 and then I got the other one. They were, there was a sale on right now for buy one get one 50% off. So I got the other one half price. And I have a, they are actually, they were $79 original but I, because I am a member, they were uh, $64.99 so just a little more than $10 off each box which is nice 
And if I decide after the one box that the, it's not for me, I just return the unopened one. And then we were downtown. We had to make, I wanted to make a stop at Value Village, but before we got there, I found the cutest salt and pepper shakers in Chinatown. They were ten dollars, but who could resist? So cute. You're gonna die. You're gonna die when you see that. <laughs> They're little elephants kissing. They're salt and pepper shakers. How cute is that? And you just unhook them. Isn't that adorable? So those were ten dollars. Cute. Detail all around. Adorable. Alright. Just gonna quickly shove those away. Oh, I forgot another store we went to. I do the value because it's right in front of me here we, while we we're at the mall and this isn't just like all on one day this is throughout the month of January some of it still has tags on because I haven't quite worn all of it yet sometimes I'm a lazy bum and I just wear jogging pants and a hoodie all day oh my god so I got this shirt at our den it's just a Superman baseball style tee. I got it in a... What size did I get it in? Weird, it doesn't say what size. Oh, and it's lower in the back and higher in the front. And I believe it's in a large, but I probably... It's huge on me, so I probably could have got a medium, maybe even a small. It's more of a night shirt than a t-shirt, but... Whatever, it'll be cute this summer. And I believe that was $12. And then I went to... I guess they still have their Boxing Day sales on. The girls said they're going to have them on. Pretty much to get rid of as much as possible of their old stock. So these next items I'm showing you... missing one thing but one two three. I had six things I can't find the other thing but these were um, I paid like the total came to the 30 so 30 dollars and something like change after tax so this is from Urban Planet this is a cute long sleeve thin hooded shirt and it's black and it says fall in love with as many things as possible so I thought that was super cute. I got this black skirt. Thought it would be nice for when I can go back to work. It looks pretty short, but it's I'm not that tall. So, and this was originally eight dollars, but it was on the clearance rack. Again, I paid thirty dollars after tax for all of this. And this was full price. Oh yeah, there was something. I think there was another item full price, but I can't remember. I'm sorry. I got this shirt. And this was a uh, regular price, so this was $12.50. And then I got just this pullover, like little cardigan. We're not allowed to show um, armpits at work. We're cutting people's hair. I think it's kind of gross anyways that salons allow some stylists to go um, sleeveless. I don't really want your gross sweaty armpit in my face. I don't care if you wear deodorant. I don't want your armpit in my face. Um, so just that really sheer long sleeve cardigan. And alright, to the good stuff. Me and my mom went to 
some value to lunch. This is what all the shopping ended up being. We got one big bag from Value Village. My mom did. And I got a little bag from Value Village. Mine are out because I cleaned them. So I'll start with what I got. A little disheveled because I've been cleaning them. Well, I cleaned them yesterday. And then I want to get new insoles for all of them. And then I need to get some white leather shoe polish. Um, so these were $14.99, and they are Pumas, absolutely nothing wrong with them, there was nothing wrong with the shoelaces, the bottoms barely worn, I'm thinking someone got them and maybe they were too small and just didn't have a receipt and no one could fit them, but they're eight and a half, and I got them for $14.99, again nothing wrong with them and then I got another pair of Pumas and these ones are Puma Munich and they are golden white I'm sorry the shoelaces are out because I washed them again these ones I didn't even really have to clean I just so these were worn what maybe a few times like so I didn't clean the bottoms of them but like perfect condition. A little scuffed, but that's it. And the insides aren't even dark. Those ones were $19.99, I'm assuming because of the condition they were in. And again, my shoes, and I suggest for anyone else who buys shoes at secondhand stores, always give them a good scrub and always buy your own insoles. Replace the insoles. And then I got a pair of DC shoes just for bumming around. There's white, black, with black, white, and pink flat on the side. Pretty basic. These ones need a good scrub. The tongues are a little dirty. But once I clean these ones, they'll be fine. But those are in pretty amazing condition for used shoes. I've never seen shoes like this at a secondhand store. And then... My mom also got a pair of shoes. She got a pair of Nikes. And hers, oh, sorry. These were $14.99, the DC shoes. And then my mom got a pair of Nikes. These like brand new shoelaces in them again. I think maybe someone wore them just a few times. Hers have, I, I haven't cleaned hers yet for her. And, they barely, they're barely worn on the bottom and brand new shoelaces, but they will be cleaned. New insoles put in them and they were $19.99 for Nikes. I paid a hundred and something dollars for my Nikes. Insane. And I guess she got this little coin wallet purse. Oh, my mom is so cute. It's a little Snoopy disco wallet. She paid $1.99 for it. <clears throat> Cute. And then she got this for $12.99. Royal blue dress. I don't know if you can see it in this light. It's just really pretty with a little, uh, rope for around the waist. And then I picked this out for her. I found it and bring it to her. It was $5.99, and I'm pretty sure this has never been worn. Worn. There's no... This really pretty detail. So again, anytime you buy secondhand, always wash everything, especially shoes. Make sure you put new insoles in them. And then I picked up a few clothing pieces. This is the first time... I've gone in there, um, I like to collect um, candlesticks, like antique candlesticks, and I would go in there with my friend Katrina all the time and buy them. But I've never bought clothing or anything, like I've looked, but I've never bought anything. Um, so me and my mom went and we both found stuff that we liked that was in really good quality. So I paid $12.99 for this. It's just a denim skirt. It might be a little bit big, but 
I like my denim skirts to hang. Like I don't, I like them to sit nicely. And this is Hurley. Again, it's dark denim. Like it doesn't even like, right on the tag, it doesn't even look like it's been worn. Like everything's, nothing's faded on it. I'm excited. Yeah, none of the tags are faded. So for this Hurley denim skirt, I paid $12.99. Like, that's insane. I'm so excited. And then for working out, I don't want to pay a lot of money for workout sweaters. I don't pay a lot of money for my hoodies now, and I don't want to pay a lot for the ones I'm working out in. Um, this was $7.99. It's a... Um, $7.99 size small and it still has original tags on it. It's Nike and it's just a gray shirt. Always make sure you check for rips or stains and stuff because I'm assuming if it has a stain on it, most people donate wash things before they donate them. If it's a stain on it, it's usually not going to come out. But yeah, that was Nike. And I paid $7.99 for that. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. And my favorite thing I found was, ugh, again, no stains, zipper works fine, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Was this Lululemon hoodie and then like an aqua marine blue? And I paid $19.99 for it, and it's a size medium. They had a couple, they had two other ones, small, and I was debating whether getting them or not because I could wear them under, I like to wear them under my jean jacket, the smaller ones. Um, the small one fits me completely until I get up to like here and then I can't do it up over my chest. So I got the medium and I actually love it so much. I almost bought one around Christmas time. I went in and I looked. They didn't really have any Boxing Day sales and the price went up on these insanely in the past few years. I remember they used to be like 60 something dollars and I went in thinking, oh, they haven't changed. I just want the like original hoodie, like nothing fancy. They're $106 for the hoodie. I get the pants, they lift the butt, make everyone look fabulous, but like the hoodie does nothing. It keeps me warm. It ain't giving me a fabulous shape, but I love it, my favorite thing. So that is exciting. So again, just make sure you wash everything you buy second hand. Don't rely on the people who donated it to, don't rely on them to have washed it. And yeah, that is my shopping haul with my mama. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Thanks for watching.